innovation for me that you think is most promising in managing, again, this, this problem of health equity and climate injustice? Well, the fact that we are uh, treating climate change is something that requires us to look at health equity because uh, there are, as I said, communities who today are, are suffering the dire cons consequences of uh, climate change. They can't afford to just turn on the switch to the air conditioner. Uh, they can't afford to take uh, that shade break uh, the, way, the way some of us could. They can't afford to even stay home to get a paycheck. And so what we're doing is we're going into communities and we're using community health care centers, the federally qualified community health care centers, as our point of contact because we have access, we touch FQHCs, and we know if we work with them to provide them with resources, they're going to touch the communities that we're most concerned about. And so what we're doing is working with them so that they can reach into communities through the, the trusted voices in those communities to try to access some of those services. So if you need to have access to the vaccine, we we're working with them. But at the same time, if you need to know more about how to stay safe in these hotter or colder uh, seasons, your community health care center will now be a point of a contact. By the way, we're also trying to use schools. Uh, we're trying to put a Medicaid dollar into our schools directly through the school districts and have the school districts essentially have some of their schools become health care providers. It's a process that takes a lot of work. It's not easy to check all the boxes to qualify for Medicaid. 